New details from Britney Spears' memoir about her abortion and how then-boyfriend Justin Timberlake comforted Brit amid her excruciating pain. I had a lot of therapy to get this book done. Inside the 275-page tell-all, we've already learned Britney claims she and the NSYNC star became pregnant during their early 2000s romance. She writes that Justin definitely wasn't happy and they decided to abort the pregnancy. You know, it's all about trust and he loves me and I love him and we just try to work it out. And now the Associated Press has obtained a copy of The Woman in Me just days out from its official release date, October 24th. According to the outlet, Brittany remembers, I kept crying and sobbing until it was all over. It took hours and I don't remember how it ended, but I do, 20 years later, remember the pain of it and the fear. Cry me a river. As for Justin, well, TMZ's offering this detail. He was allegedly at Britney's side, strumming his guitar, trying to comfort her as she cried on her bathroom floor. I just want to be a happy person. This comes as Brit speaks out about the media attention surrounding her revelations, telling fans on Instagram, my book's purpose was not to offend anyone. It has given me closure on all things for a better future. Hopefully, I can enlighten people who feel particularly alone or misunderstood. Well, I just got finished with my book, so you guys better like it. And if you don't, that's cool too. The procedure was kept under wraps, and Britney says at the time she didn't even tell her family. It was important that no one find out about the pregnancy or the abortion, which meant doing everything at home. ETs reached out to Brit and JT's reps for comment. Well, you know, we're all human. Meanwhile, we know how Justin's weathering the headlines with wife Jessica Beale. A source says he's been focusing on his own family and trying not to concern himself with Britney's memoir. Justin and Jessica just want everyone to grow and evolve instead of continuing to bring up the past. I think anybody out there, you know, you go through anything. Um, to have somebody by your side to really go through it with you. Once you find that person is like a baptism where you're like, I can't go back. Back in Britney's message Friday, she says, my motive was not to harp on my past experiences. I have moved on. Ahead of the woman in me hitting shelves, it's unclear whether Brit has more to say about the experience, but we do know she's dedicated the book to her two boys, Jaden James and Sean Preston. I love being a mom.